So we have to go back and review the footage. Before we do that, we got something cool going outside. So let's uh, step out. Whoa. What's up guys? So I just finished a great little workout assessment with my buddy John over here. He's uh, with Live Harder and Wellness and he's just really helping me get in shape to be the best snowboarder I can. I'm super excited to work out with him and just, just learn this part of the sport because I, I don't know anything about it. I'm such a scrub. So, and I'm excited to bring you guys along with that journey. A lot of cool things are gonna happen today too. I'm, uh, I'm hanging out with the little guy currently. Bobby's at work, but she'll, when she gets home, I'm sprinting to the mountain and then we're gonna go shred with the Evolution Supply Co guys and uh, that's my glove sponsor and it's just gonna be such a sick day. So uh, let's get going. So it's one of those things where it's not ideal to bring Roman to the gym, but it's so nice that John has his own little dojo thing so I can bring him. Cause I hate using the kid as like, oh, I, got, I, I have Roman so I can't go work out or ever. Like Roman loves playing in there, which is awesome. So I get to bring him. John doesn't care he's there. No excuses for, for fitness and stuff. Like that's, that's my new model. Like, no excuses, let's do it. This was Roman's Christmas gift. It's like a little mini training facility. Dude loves it. What are you doing in the bouncy house? What are you doing? So typical Mondays are just me and Roman's day. Now we'll be going to the gym and then we'll be coming home and hanging out and spending time together. So I'll play with him for the majority of the morning, but I do need to do a little bit of work before I head out to the mountain. What are you doing? <laughs> the other thing with today is we're going to be reviewing the Van Top Moment 4. This was sent to me. I'm pretty excited. Just a, it's like a, almost like a GoPro type camera. I mean, obviously you'll get it. Yeah, but it's got some image stabilization in it. It's 4K. It's got the voice activation. It's got a bunch of cool stuff. But so they sent me the, like the little kit thing and I was blown away. Look at all of these mounts, like literally the bike mount helmet like dude like so much i don't even know what's in this thing yet folding backpack what i didn't know that was possible but that is a, a backpack to store all of the gopro stuff so that's pretty sick so that is what we'll be snowboarding with no daniel today so it's a good time to do selfie and test out this uh this guy right here i'm really excited so Chaz gudemont has this thing called why we train and basically he plays a snowboard clip of you riding and then a clip of you working out and it's like, what workouts help your riding? And John, with his facility, he really wants to help out snowboarders. That's why he wants to work with me, which is really, really cool. And I'm going to make one of those really quick for his Instagram, for my Instagram. So go check out my Instagram, you can see it. And I also have John's Instagram linked in the description if you guys wanna give him a follow and see me working out on his Instagram. But at the same time, I'll play you the clip really quick of the, like the hashtag why we train. we train thing that Chaz Gudemont has started that I kind of like was like ah that's gonna be so cool to do that for John that's what I came up with Roman has now destroyed the bed but things are going smooth now I'm getting ready to go to the ride of the mountain and uh, we're out of here 
so John also told me I should juggle before I go ride something about it makes things in your brain start firing and you start killing it and so like I got these balls in here and I've been I don't know how to juggle I'm trying to learn so it's it's a work in progress We're, we'll get there so I do have a short day on the mountain it's 12 right now so plenty of time to get good riding in but I just got to catch up with the with the homies from Elevation Supply Co it's gonna today's just a, a busy but sick day all right just got to copper it is their demo day here I think like all the snowboard brands are here demoing snowboards we're not gonna do that just because of how late we're showing up and I I'm not really interested in demoing a snowboard but it's cool that it's happening so I don't know if this is everybody but when I ride I get a lot of eye flakes and a lot of eyelashes and stuff inside my goggles. So like there's always like little things. I think I blink a lot when I ride. That's why magnetic lenses are huge. Because it comes off so easy, you can clean them so easy. And then uh, you're ready to rock. The other thing too is like you can't take out the lens when I go in and move it. I don't really like get it out of the goggle and it kind of just builds up right here. So then I have a bunch of like dead skin and eyelash. I know it's kind of gross, but uh, that's why I like I can take it off, get it out of my goggle, and then I can put it back on. I need to get a copper pin. I got my uh, my winter park pin. Maybe I'll find a, a copper icon pass pin. Also, pro tip of the day, if you wear your goggles under your helmet, if you put it higher up, and then you kind of put your helmet on from the back forward, you won't get that weird pressure on the side of your head. Because a lot of people, that's like, they like, I'm trying to do that, but then like, I get this headache. So that's how I figured out how for it to not hurt. All right, so we got the van top. I'm turning it on right now. First couple impressions, it, it's light. You can tell that there's not too much inside of it. Like the GoPro is like kind of heavy. The cool thing is when it's outside of the case, there is a case that goes around it. When it's outside of the case, there's still a, a little uh, tripod mount. So I'm going no case, so the audio is better. Hit record. It's one of those things, if you know how to operate a GoPro, you're gonna know how to operate this thing. Super similar interfaces. But uh, so from today on, we're no longer gonna use this camera. We're gonna use this camera. We'll kind of see the difference currently, but uh, we're gonna go out, ride with this one, see how it performs. It does have image built-in stabilization, just like the Hero 7. So we'll see how good this image stabilization is. Uh, the best part about this camera is it's $80. And so let's see if it's worth 80 bucks or if you should just go for the full $400 GoPro. All right, let's shred. Ian? Yeah. Hi, yeah, buddy. How you doing? Good, man. What's up, nice to meet you. How you guys doing today? Good. To the expo at Denver? Or?
All right, so this is a quick audio test with the wind. How do I sound? I'm going moderate speed. This is normally the speed I go when I talk to my GoPro. So uh, we'll see how the voice is, wind stuff. All right, guys, so these gloves are sick. I'm digging them. Tell me about the gloves. You want me to go? Go ahead, you start. So um, we're a glove company, ESC Gloves. Um, we've got a couple models right now and a trigger mitt, which Jonathan rocks on the daily. Um, we also got some spring mitts that are uninsulated and gloves. We also got a, a leather glove too. Uh, but we're really just all about creating high quality gloves at, uh, you know, affordable prices. And these guys are awesome and they shred. Gear made by shredders is always the best. They know what's up. So once again, all of this is going to be linked in the description and I have a coupon code. It will also be linked in there. Save you guys some money. And uh, yeah. snack some gloves, support the boys. Yeah, thanks guys. We've... High fives and hell yeah! <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> High fives and hell yeah! <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna test these gloves out. We're gonna do a lot of hand drag riding and uh, Euro carving and and uh, just the durability and uh, how they just dig into the snow and stuff. So let's get it. Yeah. Alright guys, that was Chipmunk for the vlog. We're gonna do a couple more wraps with these guys, but we got our footage. It's just about having fun now. Alright, back in the car. Obviously I gotta review the footage to give a full review, but as for a user review, once again, the fact that it attached to the pole this easy without the holster, really good. It has an auto sleep function, so you turn it on. If you don't use it for like a minute or so, it turns off, which like with the normal GoPro you can like hit this top button and it will start recording so with this you have to like turn it on and then you can start recording so for vlogging it's a it's a little difficult but if you're only getting like if you're just filming the the start of the run to the bottom it's not that bad when i was navigating and setting everything up like i filmed 1080p 60 frames per second that's what i normally film like every vlog with like all of that was super easy the interface like it's child's play so we have to go back and review the footage. Before we do that, we got something cool going outside. So let's uh, step out. Whoa. We got the boys with their fresh hoodies. Those things are sick. So what's up? Small? Yeah, small. Cause I, I have baby hands guys. So the <laughs> mediums, they work, but uh, I'm excited to try out the smalls now. Oh yeah. So I rock a bunch of DC uh, hats. Stoked to actually have a dope one. Yeah, <laughs> stickers too. too. Stickers. Some special edition team only gold in there too. Oh, team only gold. Yeah, I got it. Snagger gold. Guys, thanks for the stuff and it was sick shredding. For sure, man. Yeah, man. So Good fun. to see you. I think the first thing we do, throw the hat on. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. It's kind of cold out. The weather's changing. Snow is coming. Hopefully we get a powder day tomorrow. All right, let's go home and review that footage. I should probably do a transition. Uh, uh, uh. All right, guys, so I quickly went over the footage and something I first noticed is the time and date are stamped on every clip. I don't know if that's an option to turn off in the camera. I could look into that, but out of box, that's not an option. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> we got the time and date through all of that footage. I did run white balance on this GoPro, but I would say it's pretty dark. It's not very good at like, at, like brightening up the footage. like. A lot of this was out of box function. I didn't play around too much with it. I just made sure it was 1080, 60 frames and that this image stabilization on, which uh, image stabilization is like, bleh. it's not GoPro level, that's for sure. Um, but once again, this is an $80 camera. It's one of those things where if you didn't have the money to get a GoPro, like this could work for you. That being said, it might be worth saving a little bit or getting an older GoPro. 
the camera, it, but the camera works. It, I mean, it's one of those things where it is good enough. It's not great. So if you're a person that w just wants to remember the moment and you don't want to spend a bunch of money on a camera and you don't really want to worry too much about editing or whatever, it's fine. If you want to do vlogging or really make snowboard edits, I don't, I don't think this is the camera for you. This is just to like capture your family vacation. Uh, it's waterproof or like it has the waterproof housing and everything. So you could go that route and just capture your, your vacation and get some photos from the videos and have short videos, but it's not, like I personally won't go vlogging with this camera. With all that being said, what a sick day snowboarding. The guys are were killing it. I'm super thankful for the gloves, that the super sick hat. Once again, I'll link all Elevation Supply Co's information in the description, the gloves, the hats, and my coupon code. Save some money on that. I also am gonna have this guy linked in the description. $80 camera, not terrible, not as good as a GoPro. Still, it was it, it, it got the shots. We had a sick video today. And guys, today's sticker shout out goes to Aaron is cool 21. He's definitely cool because he got the blue evolution sticker as well as the white one and he's got him doing all sick designs. That's the best part about the evolution sticker guys is not each one is connected so you can kind of make it do really cool things. Don't forget we released the orange evolution sticker limited quantity. I think there's only like 40 of them. So if you want to snag an orange one, orange one, get it. And the blue one is the same. The orange and blue are the same as the Bronco colors. So if you bought orange and blue, you can like layer them and make like Denver Bronco colors if you're into that. You can do the same thing for the green and yellow ones. I did that on purpose. Also, I've been rocking the dope Keep Evolving t-shirt. All the the t-shirt merch is linked in the description and then tag me on Instagram so I can give you guys gear and sticker shout outs. So this was like a day in the life video. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. I'm excited to bring you along more with the working out and just more of the family stuff and just kind of showing you guys a little bit more of my life than just the riding. Uh, but you guys know the riding is going to be sick. And so, and with all of that, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep evolving and we'll see you next time. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen, feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody, I ain't never gonna need nobody, no, no, I ain't never gonna need nobody, no cliffhanger, yes, I so do banger, I'm the new mix. That's the best part about the evolution sticker, guys, is not 